Hi everybody, two questions. Surprise, surprise, they're about coronavirus. Wow, who would have thunk? Okay, the first question excludes the following population of people. So I'm not talking about people that, emergency, that need emergency care. Like if you need medical care because you think you're sick from coronavirus and you need to call 911, then you should call 911. If you think you need to go to your uh, physician's office or the ER, I'm not telling you not to do that. I'm recommending that you call them first and tell them, I have a concern that I'm sick from coronavirus. Do you think I should come in? Okay, so this first question excludes that population because I think if you need medical care, you should get it. I'm not discouraging you from that. But I'm taking 20 questions that I've heard in the last 48 hours and combining them into one and answering it. So this is the question that I'm combining into one. Okay, excuse the sarcasm. And action. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I just felt really warm last night. I don't know what it was and I feel warm now. And uh, <coughs> uh, I don't know. I have a <coughs> kind of a dry cough and whew, short of breath. I, don't, I just don't, I don't want, I don't want to have coronavirus. I don't want my kids to get it. I need to get tested. I need to get tested right away. Okay, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, right now, there's no reason to get tested for coronavirus because we're all in a quarantine, essentially. Even if we had it, we're locked down so we can't infect other people. And we're locked down so other people can't infect us. So if prior to this little episode you were, either, you were able to eat and drink, walk and talk, pee and poop, and watch cable television 24 hours a day, you probably don't need to be tested. Now, since we're all in this, this lockdown, there's no reason to be tested if you're otherwise fine because you're gonna stay quarantined anyway. So you wanna stay away from people that can infect you and you wanna stay away from other people so you don't infect them. Now, once these restrictions are lifted, it will be very important to test everybody all the time. Test, 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 test. Because once we start mingling again, we don't want this to take off again. And I think this will be similar to the flu or strep. You bring your child in the office and you say, oh, I'm worried about him. He has a fever. I don't know. And so we test him for, say, the flu. And we say, uh-oh, he's got the flu. Here's some medicine that help, may help decrease its duration. Take him home. Keep him away from everybody. He's not going to school. He's not going to play basketball. He's not going to church. He's not going to have a play date. Uh, keep the family away from him. He's not going to family get-togethers. He's not going to infect other people. So keep him home. That's essentially quarantine. We already do that. We do that for kids with flu, with strep. We say, here's your antibiotic. Go home. Try and stay away from him. You're not going to school to go and infect other people. You're not going to your extracurricular activities. You're going home till you get better. That's a quarantine. But the only way for us to know that is to have a rapid test in the office readily available. So any person that comes in the office with a cough or a, a suspected exposure to coronavirus, we test them right away and say, oh, no, you're negative. Or, oh yeah, you're positive. Go home, stay away from people. Don't touch the rest of the family. You're not going to play sports, you're staying home. And that's just the way it is. And that's in line with how we do other infectious diseases. But we need to have the rapid test to be able to do that. As of right now, since we're all quarantined, we don't need to be tested if we don't medically need to be. Once we start mingling with the community, we're gonna need a rapid test so we can test everybody quickly and efficiently. Okay, next question. When will this end? Qu uh, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, question mark. I don't think it's helpful to be looking at numbers every single day because they're going to go up. That's the expectation. So you shouldn't be surprised that numbers are going up. It's early in the infection process, so everybody's infecting each other. These numbers will go up. It's like a ping pong ball. Ping pong, ping pong, bouncing off people back and forth and infecting them. So those numbers will probably continue to go up at least into uh, early April, mid-April. If you take a model and say, well, what's going to happen with the, with the state or the country, and you base it on what's happened in the world already, you can look at the first model, which was in China, uh, the last, last part of December, early January was the first 
uh, coronavirus infection reported and you say they have not recovered yet till now which is March end of March so that's three months it took China to recover in the United States we took where we started in March 6th ish so if we take approximately three months similar to them that puts us April May June you know late May early June when we would have almost zero new cases if you use that model it could be worse it could be better hopefully better but that's the only way there's no way to accurately predict this I think we could at least use this time at home to be more productive and there's a lot of things my kids at home at least started painting I mean like the house I haven't gotten them to do the outside yet but I'm working on it got to get them over the fear of getting up on that ladder um, but there are other things you can do, you know, read a book, go for a walk if you're allowed. Um, one of the most relaxing things I like is to rub my dog's belly. He gets relaxed, I get relaxed, we forget about coronavirus. Okay, anyway, you can pick out your own things to do. Thanks very much. Keep the questions coming. Have a great day. Bye-bye.